Hello, my name is Charles Fisher, and this is the organism profile of the American badger. The American badger's scientific name is Taxidia taxis. Next taxonomy is from the kingdom Animalia, phylum Chordata, meaning it has a spinal cord, class Mammalia, order Carnivora, and family Musculidae. Today, we're going to cover the profile of the animal, the life cycle, its structure and function, its evolution, badgers in Idaho, and we're going to have a brief conclusion. The family Musclidae, the cousins are the otter, wolverine, polecat, and weasel. And they, basically, musclidae have four or thick fur coats with multiple layers, short ears, and have five toes on each foot. Now, the American badger is common in many regions in North American continent, from the Great Lakes to the West Coast, to the Pacific Coast, and from Canadian prairie provinces to south of the Mexican plateau, living in open area habitats such as prairies, plains, and the edges of forests. And here in southwest Idaho, this animal is found in the open areas of the Great Basin Desert, usually in Bureau of Land Management lands uh, that humans do not live but utilize often. It has a fos fossorial lifestyle, meaning that it is a burrowing animal. In a life cycle, they usually survive in the wild from 4 to 10 years, but one specimen in captivity is able to live up to 25 years, according to NH. Uh, it's a website. Mortality rate is generally about 35 percent but there have been some studies that have shown the yearling populations uh, in some of the demographics show 80 percent suggesting that there's a higher mortality rate among the older uh, species in the populations uh, generally mate in august and september they only mate once per year and they have an average of three kits or cubs per litter but they can have up to seven and something that's pretty unique about the life cycle is that once they mate, the embryos of the badger experience an arrest in the development that greatly prolongs gestation. What that means basically is that the embry embryo develops only for a few days and then lies dormant in the uterus, uterus being implanted in January. And of the total period of gestation, 250 days, growth only occurs around uh, 50 days inside of that gestation period. And its maturation case characteristics. Males generally become sexually mature as yearlings, but females are most often found to rate mate around four to five months old. Young badgers move out within the first year, usually in the summer months, and occupy a space of approximately one male per square mile. Now, they are a uh, rather prolific species in North America, uh, mostly due to the quantity of cubs that are generated from each mating cycle. Now, some of the unique structure and functions of the badger's uh, bit makeup, uh, one particular thing is musculature structure used for digging. They notice here on this picture uh, that I was able to get from an abstract drawing from a profile that was done on the American badger that the muscle groups are very broad and wrap around most of the joint compounds in the body and it, that's just the, this is the forelimb musculature right here and it's added stability and high force movement during digging as uh, badgers are often known for their scratch digging capabilities and badgers can dig up to a thousand holes per year uh, some of the positive aspects is it creates a home for themselves and raising their offspring and provides homes for other animals once the badger moves out or moves on to a new hole and it's known to improve soil quality and soil development due to aeration. But negatively, in 1998, in a California study published by Stephen Minton and Rex Marsh estimated damages in Northern California up to $107,772 from crop loss, property and irrigation damage, and destruction of waterfowl. Now, here you can actually watch the badger dig its hole. Notice that it scratches with its front four limbs and then uses its back limbs to push the dirt outside of the hole. Another unique feature is the loose skin used as a self-defense mechanism. Now, American badgers generally have very few predators. The number one predator that's been listed on its uh, predation list is humans. It's also been known to be attacked by bears, coyotes, and eagles that prey mostly on the younger badgers, and various wild cats. 
and their loose skin ensures that the badger can wiggle loose or turn and fight in, in, the, in the grasp of the animal that's attacking them. It also aids the badgers in the ability to flee, quick, flee by quickly entering their burrows and underground maneuverability. And what you see here in this picture is a coyote that is caught uh, near the neck of an American badger. And the American badger has actually pulled itself back and you see most of that loose skin uh, right there near the coyote's mouth. Now for evolution, the North American badger is morphologically specialized for digging through soil in its search for rodents as its food. It has probably remained unchanged, at least morphologically, since the mid-Pliocene era. The Taxidia taxis is the only extant member of its subfamily or tribe, and since the late Pliocene, it has been the sole occupant of the fossorial carnivore niche in the New World. Now, while it's morphologically unchanged, the American badger has developed a unique nictitating, nictitating membrane, or a third eyelid, to protect itself from dirt as it digs and burrows to remain underground during daylight hours. As I said, this is a fossorial animal, and it, it prefers to burrow underground, and most of the time it can't be seen uh, in any kind of habitat where human involvement uh, will allow them to be seen overnight. And you see from the picture there the arrow dictating that nictitating membrane. Now, badgers in Idaho, American badgers prefer to live in open areas like plains and prairies, farmlands and edges of woods, like I said in the first slide. And here in the Great Basin Desert region of southwest Idaho, we have plenty of that. And most of the area of southwest Idaho is covered in shad scale and sagebrush, which is uh, very adaptable to the American badger's desire to dig. It feeds mostly on ground squirrels, pocket gophers, kangaroo rats, and mice here in southwest Idaho, as there are very abundant populations of those animals here. It's also known to eat scorpions, snakes, lizards, and birds, also abundant here in southwest Idaho. The largest concern for the populations here is, is a result of human interference with badger food sources in Idaho and the removable of suitable habitats by humans. The American badger has been relocated to areas in southwest Idaho that are not, not constantly occupied by humans. And habitat loss is a specific concern as the fossorial habits of badgers cause issues with grazing and farmlands in Idaho. Now, most of the BLM land here in southwest Idaho is used for open grazing or for free-range cattle and has been known to cause issues uh, with cattle such as broken legs and uh, things of that nature that has caused the human predation of the animal very to, be, to become very great here. So in conclusion, the American badger is a unique animal with genetic adaptations that allow it to maintain its fossorial lifestyle. In addition to its ability to burrow on the ground for the purposes of food, shelter, and protection from predators, its specific habitat considerations based on its prey have made this an extremely solitary animal, with the exception of its mating preference. Its solitary lifestyle and small litter size have enabled the American badger to develop into a very dispersed yet prolific organism though it is very rarely observed in its natural environment due to its exceptional scratch-digging capabilities. Now, one specific uh, incident, they described a badger in Georgia that had actually dug itself to run away from uh, four people that observed it, and they dug for over an hour with four shovels and could not reach him. 